The Carabao Cup isn't sexy, like the Champions League or even the FA Cup, but it's still mildly attractive and still a big deal for two teams looking for the first trophy in their new eras. The final is Sunday, and it's Manchester United against Newcastle. United haven't won a trophy or any trophy in five years. That feels like a lifetime for Red Devils fans, but it's nothing compared to Newcastle, who last lifted silverware in 1969 with the Intercities Fairs Cup. Yeah. Exactly, what is the Intercities Fairs Cup? So now Filthy Rich is only a matter of time before the Magpies start winning trophies again. And that could start this Sunday, but it won't be easy. United have been great since the World Cup, up to third in the Premier League at the expense of Newcastle, and just five points back of first place. They're in a title race. Last time these two met, it was nil-nil, so expect this one to be low scoring as well. That said, Newcastle, who are the defensive kings of England, are missing Nick Pope in goal. He has been brilliant this season, but was sent off last week against Liverpool and is suspended. Back up, Martin Dubravka is cup-tied, so it's third stringer, and that could be Lloris Karius. Remember him? Last time you saw him, he was probably making two giant mistakes for Liverpool in the 2018 Champions League final. United are still missing Christian Eriksen, but with Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes, they have all the attack they need. Rashford's at plus 175 to score, and with 16 in his last 17, no wonder. Bruno has also been superb, in great form with seven goal contributions in his last 10 matches. He's at plus 360 to score. So if you like Rashford and Bruno to keep dominating, then Manchester United to win plus over two and a half goals can bring you plus 255. But as I like it, a low scoring United win and you can get plus 375. There's value to be had at Wembley this Sunday and for all the markets on the Carabao Cup final, as well as all things English soccer, visit nonstopbets.ca.